Welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News for Monday, April the 28th, 2014. I'm your host, Alan Barry Labucan. I'm also the uh, chief market commentator for Agoracom. Every day I get a bunch of press releases to uh, uh, that stand out to me. I talk about what it was in their news that stood out, and I also go into uh, their stock and uh, try to give you an idea of what I see in the stock uh, performance as well. Um, we generally make the show 10 minutes. I've got four companies to talk about today, so we'll have no problem with that time frame. Uh, the first company I wanted to talk about today is Virtutone Networks. Virtutone Networks is an Agoracom sponsor. Uh, they had a news release out today on their uh, 2014, or their year-ended uh, results. Uh, their year ended in uh, January 31st, 2014, and they had quite a jump in revenue from uh, year over year. They went from 416,000 in fiscal 2013 to 48 million. Uh, 823,000 in 2014. Uh, quite a uh, significant change. Uh, the company is really going through a very significant growth spurt now uh, and um, uh, definitely one you want to do your homework on. VFX is their stock symbol and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is BlackBerry. BlackBerry uh, is uh, Enterprises uh, has an announcement out that they've deepened their um, commitment to secure multi-platform dev device management with BlackBerry. Uh, BlackBerry is, uh, is, a, is a company that's uh, a former uh, tech market darling that has fallen on tough times and uh, sometimes these uh, are can be significant uh, turnarounds and they've got uh, Josh Chen in there now who's a, a, a very good guy at turning companies around and I like the chances of BlackBerry turning around and this is just another uh, a good news in some of the efforts that they're making. The stock today is down eight cents to seven dollars and ninety seven cents. It's traded 2.4 million shares uh, so far today. Uh, just looking at the stock chart uh, it hit the uh, the bottom uh, back in December at around six dollars a share, and then it m moved up quite aggressively, uh, basically doubled, uh, and hit twelve dollars two times: once in January, and then once in uh, Feb late February. Since then, it gave back some of those gains, but it looks like it ha has now bottomed out. Uh, after giving back some of those gains and is ready to move to the upside again. I like BlackBerry a lot. This is one I'll be talking about on the end of the week on our best of the best uh, of stock picks uh, of the week show. BB is their stock symbol. They trade on Toronto. Next up is Madalena Energy. Madalena Energy had uh, news out uh, that they've... Um, they uh, have uh, horizontal uh, Sierra Blanca's test results, uh, production update and drilling program update on a project that they have down in Argentina. I've been watching Madalena for quite some time now, and uh, I really like this company. They, they keep talking about their drilling. They're a lot more aggressive in communicating what they're doing with the public than most uh, junior uh, energy companies that I follow and I like that. McIlvaina Energy is up a penny today to 71 cents on uh, what's the volume there? 1.8 million shares traded hands. Just looking at the stock chart, it's been on a very good run uh, for most of the year. It started the year, this time last year it was trading at around 30 cents. It's been doing very well I, I, since I spoke about it, I think it was trading at around 50 some cents uh, last time. I like this. I like the performance of this chart. Uh, it's a very strong bullish chart, uh, and this is another one that I can. I think we'll be talking about on the uh, end of the week show. Our best of the best, the stock picks of the week show. 
uh, later this week. MVN is their stock symbol. Tr they trade on the Venture Exchange. And the final company today is Alistair Gold. Alistair Gold um, announced their first quarter results. They had uh, gold production of 42,000 attributable ounces uh, with an all-in cost of $739. Uh, that is very low cost of production uh, and um, uh, very good numbers there. You want to change? You want to check out that uh, that news on the company's website. Alistair uh, Gold is today. The stock is down four and a half cents to two dollars and sixty-five cents. It's traded four hundred and fifty-two thousand shares. Uh, just looking at the stock chart. Um, this one had a low of two to around two dollars in December. Had a nice move up to three dollars and uh, sixty-five cents. Has given back some of those gains, but I think it's uh, also bottomed out and is ready to move up from here. I like the looks of that one. Um, Alistair uh, Gold stock symbol is ASR, and they trade on the Toronto Exchange. So that's a wrap on the news today. Short and sweet. Um, we, uh, as always, you know, before making any investment decision, it's important for you to speak with your financial advisors and do your homework. Um, join us for Monday through Thursdays for our, uh, in the news show where I do this, uh, uh, go over companies, talk about their stock charts, try to give you a heads up on what I see in the news and, or, and on their stock charts. And you can find that every morning on Agoracom at, uh, on the top right hand side of the page, there's a video player there. Just click on that and you can watch the, uh, the shows. You can find all of our past shows also on blog.agoracom.com and on my website at allenberryreports.com. On that note, you have a great day and we will talk to you soon.